cutters. It was so close to a fairy tale finish there. What's the overriding emotion after the game? Um, uh, discontent, I think. We tried to soak up the whole week. Um, so I think we've done a good job, me and the family. And then today, it was, it was always going to be a win um, to get one more opportunity to play. Um, and yeah, in the end, we're actually we're pretty close to getting the four points, which have, would have put the cherry on top. But um, no, I felt like a winner uh, once that time went. And talk us through the whole week from Tuesday telling your teammates to this moment, packed change rooms, packed stadium, how, how good and how's it been from your perspective? It was, it was good first just to get it off my chest. Um, you obviously you have thoughts throughout the year, but to then finally tell the boys and everyone, and it, I don't know, you can sort of relax and you, it was official, so you, you knew you, the countdown was on. Um, and just to soak up every minute, um, the club's been. Oh, better than I could even imagine. Um, the support they've given me, the, the love, um, the opportunity, just everything above. Um, couldn't, be, couldn't be more grateful. <laughs> you nearly want to go on just to repay them just for the week they've given me, but um, yeah, it's been, it's been unreal. You nearly blew the, uh, the, the roof off Marvel Stadium with two big goals. How electric was the atmosphere there? Oh, that first goal, I think that'll go down as my favourite memory. Playing footy, I don't know. I'm not much of a goal kicker, but as soon as LD um, stepped back and go, I just, I don't know, like someone was overlooking me, it was always going to go through. I celebrated early and then for all the boys to jump on me um, and then the crowd, it just felt like it shook. That was, yeah, that was one I'll, I'll never ever forget. There was also a special post game presentation in the rooms uh, there with Sonia and Jai. Talk us through that and how it was for you. Yeah, it just, just shows the, you know, the relationship and the impact. You don't even realise you're, you're having on some people, so it felt surreal. You still just feel like a kid. I know I'm finished now, but you still got that country kid deep down. So it was a little bit overwhelming, but um, to get that love, that's what I mean. Like just finish on such a high. Um, yeah, I couldn't couldn't be more blessed and um, content with with how it's ended. You flagged earlier in the week, heading back to the farm. Is that? Next up on the agenda? Yeah, for sure. The, the day I got drafted to come down here, I knew I always wanted to get back, but people said, oh, you'll, you'll change and this and that. But 14 years down the track, and even blinded my wife, um, we're just grateful that's, that country's still in us, and, and that's the number one thing we wanted to do. We're lucky in 2019, we, we bought some land down there, so we've just been setting that up for whenever this moment came, and, and now it's finally here. So to, to live out my boyhood dream playing AFL, but now to to get to begin my best life on the farm, fishing, hunting, back on the motorbikes, like stuff like that, with me kids and family, like I don't know, I couldn't be more grateful for life. It's just unreal. And finally, what's your message to the uh, the North Mel Melbourne faithful? Yeah, stick tight. It's so funny. We obviously we've lost so many in a row, whatever it is, but to see the support today, like I don't know, they're, they're a heart of soul. That's why that's why we're the shin boners. They stick fat, so it's just going to make the, the good times even better. And I, I know they'll come another pre-season under the boys' belt. We've got some genuine talent. Um, so, it, yeah, stick tight. And the, the, the good times will come, and it'll, it'll make it even sweeter. So um, couldn't be more grateful for the fans. And everyone that come today is yeah, su surreal. Connor, thanks for your time, and congratulations on an amazing career. No, thank you.